Hello, everybody. Welcome to Star Citizen. At the moment, this is version 3.3. .3, and this is learning to fly. So let me get situated here. Now let's start in the main menu. Um, the best way to learn to fly is in Arena Commander. So go ahead and click there. It'll start up with this great thing. And you want to go to single player. Go to game mode up here. Click that. Go to free flight at the very top. Don't worry about changing the map. Broken Moon has good lighting. We'll just use that right here. It, most likely, you only have one ship, so don't have to worry about that. But this is where you can go if you rent a ship from the RSI website or you have multiple ships. So let's go ahead and launch right down here. Shouldn't take too long. And here we are. All right. So the first thing you want to do is learn the inner thought system. And the way to do that is pressing and holding down the letter F as in Frank. So once you do that, you uh, some of you might see an exit to zero G. Uh, don't worry about clicking that. Don't do that. Not yet. You're new. Stop it. Um, so this uh, is your interaction. This will tell you what you can interact with. As you can see, it turns orange. Um, if it's interactable, the closer you get, it'll turn yellow. As you can see down below, up here. But we're not going to do anything with this at the moment. What we're going to do is learn how to get out and get in. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And we'll just coast. That might not have been a good idea. Anywho. So to get out of your cockpit, you're going to hit H. Sometimes it's a little wonky. Um, I'm in an Avenger. Uh, which has different ways of exiting your cockpit. I could exit through um, exiting through this, which was that exit to zero G, uh, or I can hit H, which just puts me back here by default. So when you're out, uh, say uh, if you have a Mustang and you want to get back in after we hit that H. Uh, you're probably in space, so you want to just look around. Um, and hold down that F, get close to the cockpit area, and say, enter pilot seat. That'll enter, enter your pilot seat. All right, so next, what we want to do is turn on and off the power. So uh, it won't be in the same place as mine. Yours might be up here, but you'll want to look for a button that glows like this says power off or power on whichever state you are in at the moment so we're gonna go ahead and power that off Recharging. don't listen to the man he doesn't know what he's talking about so right now everything is off my engines as you can see from hitting f4 you can go to third person uh, just press z as in zebra and move your mouse around and you can take a look at your ship but the engines are off. Nothing is running. So go ahead and hit F4 once you're done looking around. It's fun to do. Brings you back to first person. And now hold, let's hold down F. We'll go back down here. Now we've got two choices here. We can do flight ready or power on. Just go ahead and do power on. Don't worry about flight ready. We don't want to start moving the ship and crashing into anything. Power on. Brings up everything. As you can see here, it's charging up for the shields. So you don't uh, you don't want to start doing stuff right after you <laughs> turn it on. Uh, in the top left corner, you can see your ship. 
Um, those little um, carrots or uh, parenthesis looking things, those are your shields. Those are charging up uh, and it shows you how many shields you have. My ship has four front, back, left, and right. Some just have the front and back. Uh, I think the larger ships have a top and bottom. I'm not sure. So now what we want to do, thank you. So the computer guys uh, acknowledge that the shields here are up at 100. So we're good there. Now, now that we got that down, uh, we are going to look at the uh, screens. Uh, so all of these right here in front of you. So um, this one is your power distribution. Not really necessary for our first timers uh, or just getting into the game. Uh, what I can do is, let me zoom in here. This is your systems, weapons, and uh, thrust or engines. So if you want more power to your engines, you go there, systems, weapons. So don't worry about it. Just put it in the center. Um, this is your your power screen. You can uh, We won't go into it, but uh, just know it's there. Uh, messing with it isn't as necessary at the moment. Um, over here, as I said before, your shields. Um, you can edit that to bring more power to the front shield if you're getting attacked by the front. Rear, right, left. Just leave it in the middle. You can get to it later. Down here is your weapon power. And how many weapon, uh, how many missiles, which, uh, which firing group it is in, one and two. Some have more, some have less. Won't worry about that. I just wanted to bring your attention to this button up here. Menu. It's on all of these. You just go ahead and click that. Brings up everything you can change that screen to. Unfortunately, scrolling also zooms. So I'm going to redo that. And you can go over here, click, and should be able to drag. Sometimes you can't. So I can't at the moment. So comms. That is one of your big things. When you're flying around, uh, you want to talk to your friends, or you need to land. Click on comms. Nothing's up here quite yet, but it will bring up a name a little Wi-Fi symbol right over here. That's what you click if you need to request landing or takeoff. You can't just take off willy-nilly, okay? Um, ship status, those are uh, shields. And uh, any damage that's happened to your ship, which is also up here. Heat, heat distribution, your output, uh, how easily somebody can detect you. Don't worry about it. You can figure it out later. Power, we saw weapons, just as I showed before. Main thing is comms. You want to keep that up if you're trying to land. So, let that sink in a little bit. <laughs> it's quite a bit. So, um, now that we're getting used to the interaction, um, let's see... Don't really need to worry about the radar. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't even use the radar that much. It's going to be here, or it might be a little disc in front of you. That's kind of light. Um, it'll just show you where your enemies are. Uh, we're not going to talk about enemies at the moment. We're not fighting anything. Now, your enemies will show up in this upper note where it says no target. Uh, once you target an enemy, it'll show up. You can see their shields and status and damage so um that'll get to later once you start fighting now it's time to fly so we're going to uh hit f i'm going to go down here to our engines you have two choices for some reason even though they're already off if you did what i did so we can turn it off or we can turn them on So right now, um, if you had uh, gone to third person and hit Z, you'll want to hit Z again to turn off the free look. That'll always give you a free look. That way you can control your ship. So what we want to do first is um, figure out how to turn your ship. Most of it is in the, in the mouse. If you're using a mouse, that's what I use. I don't have 
money to get a nice joystick. So left and right, you just move left and right. You know, keep turning until you bring it back to center. Any mouse movement, that's how it's going to be. And you can go at angles. So this is how you're going to uh, orient your ship. All right, so now uh, you want to go to uh, WASD, but let's go to Q and E first. Q and E actually rolls your ship. So you hit Q, rolls to the left, and that will automatically stop once you uh, let up. E goes the other way, goes to the right. Let up, comes back. Now strafing A and D, as you would think, goes directly to the side you are clicking on or pressing. And these can always be, uh, you know, put together. So you can do your own little maneuvers. Now, pretty simple. Now to strafe up and down, just like jumping and crouching in, uh, in a first-person shooter space, start moving straight up. Don't get close to that fire. And we'll strafe down with control. Just like ducking. Some ships are quicker. Some, ah, some ships are slower. So basic movements. Now you should be able to hear me a lot better without that noise. It's really annoying. Now we need to start moving. So what you want to do now is just hit W. You can see your uh, throttle, which is right here, starts going up. You hold it, bring it up to 100. You don't have to touch anything else. You know, let go. It'll get to its top speed at normal. Now, if you want to go faster, you hit and hold shift. That is your afterburner. That'll push your ship even further. Uh, it's good for getting... Whoa! We don't want to do that. Stay away from the blue. It'll end, uh, end your session. I know, I know, I know. Don't don't let me crash. So <laughs> don't get close to the edges. Um, so as I was saying, the afterburner is good for uh, planetary approaches. Uh, sometimes you're a little too far away. You want to get closer. That's the best way to do it. Now we want to stop. So just like in first-person shooters, hit S. Hold it down until you see the throttle go down to zero. And you'll slowly sh slow down. Um that is basic, very basic flight. Um, you can always just mess around in free flight. Kind of do your own thing. Try to figure out uh, how everything works. Flying in between asteroids is pretty fun. Um... But uh, I think that will do it for right now. Next, we will talk about uh, landing and taking off. Uh, so when you're done here, just go to my next video and we'll go to these landing pads over here. And we'll learn how to land our ship. All right, so thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Have fun in the verse.